Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to this tutorial on joining tables. And yeah, in the previous tutorial, we take, took a look at joining two different tables, uh, but I just wanted to take a little bit more of an in-depth look at this because in that tutorial, we only joined two tables and yeah, you can actually join more than two tables. So I just wanted to uh, give you guys an example of how that works. But before I start off this tutorial, I do want to send a huge shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is a coding bootcamp that'll teach you everything you need to know to become a web developer, an iOS developer, or a UX designer, and they'll do it within 12 weeks. So go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description below. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. And now we can get started with the tutorial. So uh, go over to the learning over here database that we imported in the first tutorial. And there's actually a very, very specific table that I created exactly for this tutorial, which is the orders table. So click on that. And if you inspect this orders table, you'll see that there is an order ID, a product ID, a user ID, and an address ID. So basically this table is just full of IDs. There's no actual information in here. And if we browse this, you can see that, yeah, it's basically just a table with a bunch of numbers in it. So there's not really much information uh, that can be sourced out of this uh, table. So this is where joins perform their best. Uh, and yeah, it basically means that all of the information that's in the other tables, I did not have to repeat when I put, when I created this table, basically I, uh, uh, just grabbed the IDs of the other tables and I put them into this table and now I can gather any information I'd like from those tables uh, whenever viewing an order. So basically I can see that I have an order over here and this is order with an ID of one. And if I wanted to see what product they ordered, I could link to the product table and uh, get any information about that product just using that product ID. Uh, I can also link to the users table and get any information about that user using the user ID. And of course I can grab the address that that user asked their product to be delivered to by checking out what's in the addresses table uh, and using the address ID. So now let's take a look at where this would be useful and I'm going to write a query over here. So go ahead and just remove everything that's uh, in here at the moment and let's type select. And I think let's start off by just selecting from two tables because that's um, how I like to build my queries is just like try keep them simple and then add more and more stuff on as it gets complicated. Uh, although this is going to be a very easy tutorial, so don't be don't be scared. Um, but yeah, let's say select um, and we'll select the orders dot order ID. So now we're selecting something from our orders table. And I think the next thing we should select from is going to be from the product table. So let's select the product name. So we can see what the what what order was placed and what product they ordered. So let's uh, select products dot product name. So now we've got our two fields, we can type in the from keyword, and then I can um, select the first table, which is going to be orders, and then join on my second table, which is going to be addresses. And I want to join these where the uh, oops, it's not going to be addresses. Okay, it's going to be products, I totally spaced out there for a second. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it's going to be products. And I want to join these tables where the orders dot product ID is equal to the products dot product ID. So let's go on orders dot product ID is equal to products dot product ID, because those are the two fields that are in both of these tables. Um, and now let's copy this and hit go. And now you can see that we have uh, an order ID with an order of one. So our first order went to or was for a blue lightsaber. And now I think it'd be kind of interesting to see who this order went to. So I'd like to add on information from the users table because we know that the uh, information about who this would be going to is going to be in the users table. So let's go over to the SQL tab here. And let's copy my query back in here. And uh, to add on another table is super, super simple. All I do is I add in a comma over here and I select the next uh, field that I want to select. So in this case, I want to select something from the users table. 
and I think we can select the user's um, first name. So go ahead and select something from the user's table. In this case, I wanna use the first name. And then just add in another join at the end of your query. So basically we've got this first join here, which joins the products, ta products table. And now we'll have a second join that's going to join the users table and that's going to join it on um, where uh, orders dot uh, user ID is equal to users dot ID, right? And uh, again, the reason why I'm using that field is because our orders table has a user ID and our users table also has a users ID. So it's the field that links both of those tables. And let's hit go. So let's just ignore that text and move on. And uh, we've already selected from three different tables. So order I orders ID from the orders table, products name from the products table, first name from the users table. And the last table that we have yet to select something from is the addresses table. So let's go back here and add in something from the addresses table. So I'm gonna add in a comma and let's select the addresses city uh, and we'll simply join that where the uh, address, uh, well, where the orders.address ID is equal to addresses.address ID. And now let's copy this and Hopefully, I don't have any errors, so let's hit go. And I, okay, yeah, I made a really stupid mistake here. Join, uh, we want to join addresses on our orders.address ID, yeah. Okay, make sure that you follow that exact same syntax. And now let me go ahead and copy this just in case I wanna write this query again and hit go. And it looks like I don't have any errors this time. So, and now I can see that uh, our first order was a blue lightsaber that went to Luke and it's going to Naboo. And the same thing with uh, our second order, that's a stormtrooper uniform that's also going to Luke and it's also going to Naboo. What's he up to, I wonder? And yeah, that is how to join four different tables together using MySQL. And uh, hopefully you find this tutorial helpful. And I hope that you'll go around uh, using the information that you learned in this tutorial to join as many different tables as you can. But before I end off this video, I just wanna send a huge shout out to these guys. So these guys are my patrons that contribute $5 or more on Patreon every single month. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys more often. So if you like the videos I create and you wanna see more, then become a patron. And if you can't afford to give away any money, then just subscribe, leave a comment, like and share this video because that's also going to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next one.